So since 0.60 isn't out yet, I, I mean, I don't think it's fucking coming out now. I think I put a video out almost a month ago saying that it'd be my last Daisy uh, video until 0.60. But um, in this video, I just want to talk about what it's going to do to the community since I've seen a shit ton of videos talk about what it's going to add, how it's going to impact the game. And I just want to like put basically throw in my two cents of it's gonna, how it's going to impact the community. If you don't know what they're going to add in 0.60, I'll link a video in the description to Silo's video. Uh, he's a YouTuber, Daisy YouTuber, who, and he talks about what they're going to add. He has two parts of it, and yeah, he talks about what they're going to add quite in depth too. It was a really interesting video, so I would recommend giving that one a watch if you haven't before this one. Anyway, to start off, in the YouTube sense, 0.60 could blow up Daisy again for YouTubers. Now, one thing I noticed is that most of you probably know who Frankie on PC is. Uh, he's like a huge YouTuber and he basically got huge mainly because of Daisy Mod, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, he uploaded a PC build this week and he was showing the GeForce experience on this PC. And one thing I noticed, I'll show a screenshot and he actually had Daisy downloaded on his PC. I thought maybe he's anticipating the update too to try out. And now, for those of you that like will know, if Frankie does a video on Daisy, that would blow up the community a huge amount. I mean, if you go on Frankie's channel, all of his videos, I think his top video is actually a standalone video um, with like something like 9 million, 7 million views. And of course, the reason if he would come back for this update, if any YouTuber who did Daisy would come back for this update, is just because the new rendering system. Now, for those of you who don't know, daisy has been on DirectX 9 and now it's going up, it's like moving forward to DirectX 10, which should increase the frame rate. And again, for those of you who don't know, the frame rate in Daisy was fucking dreadful. And I mean, you'd get like, you're lucky to get 60 frames in an open field. And then if you go in any major town, it would drop to like 20 frames, which in some of my videos you would see, I would completely avoid gunfights in towns just because it would just be a complete disaster for me because I couldn't trust my ability and the lag. So that's why I think that's the reason most YouTubers have stopped. I mean, I put out a video, a Daisy video, and someone asked me if my PC was good enough to play Daisy. Obviously, I'm guessing they'd never played Daisy before, but the frame rate can be so inconsistent, and that's why that is the main reason for me, and that's the main reason for everyone. It's why it's going to be one of the biggest updates to ever hit Daisy. The Daisy community at the moment is quite small, but very active. Well, in my opinion, anyway. So most Daisy YouTubers that have between twenty and a hundred k, that's basically where the majority of the biggest Daisy YouTubers are. So you got like Jam Jar, Silo, Commander Pixel, and then all the way down to Running Man Z. There's a, more in the middle, but those are the main like ones I just listed. When they upload a video, they all get a decent amount of views for how many subscribers they've got. They get really good views for actually for how many sub subs they've got, and that's mainly because the Daisy community is so active. In my opinion, I think it's ridiculously active. And then, and then when 0 0.60 comes out, I think it's going to bring uh, so many people over. People that prefer mods on Armor Two and Armor Three will probably come back to standalone, just or even new players, just to give it a go. Now they can get 60 frames on. An average system. Anyway, moving on to actual the players in the community. Now, unfortunately, this is something I thought of oh, for a while, and I think 0 0.60 is going to bring a lot more bandits to the game. Now, I've been playing a lot of Armor 3 lately, uh, Exile, and in that, I haven't met a friendly person outside of Safe Zone yet. I've always, myself, I've always shot for at first too, and other people have done it too. They've tried to shoot me before I get a chance to say hello. And one reason for that is, well, one of two reasons is on armor, you can gear quite quickly. You can get a really good gun in literally the first 10 minutes, depending on the server. And the frame rate, because you can get a consistent frame rate so easily, people trust their ability with a gun much more. And that's my opinion on what's going to happen to Daisy. People are going to, if you if you approach someone, for example, if you sneak up behind someone, if you're behind a wall and you see them in third person, if you try and speak to them, they're more likely to pull, I reckon they're more likely going to pull their gun out and try and get into cover because they've got good frame rate. They can trust their ability much more. That's my opinion. Of course, it could happen the other way where people will become more friendly because they could trust their ability to pull their gun out quickly if you do aren't friendly or they can keep their iron sight on you while someone runs away so that could be go one or two ways but unfortunately due to most people being bandits at the moment in DayZ unless you join a special server I think my way is probably going to happen that most players are just going to turn into pure bandits which can be game ruining in my opinion that's why like sometimes if I'm not in the mood for much combat I'll just go on like a role playing server just so I can speak to people and have a good time so I guess that's always an option so that isn't really a killer so overall like 
just avoiding the YouTube sense of the update, just avoiding the community sense of the update, 0.60 could make or break Daisy. The game has been out for a ridiculous amount of time now, and it's still an alpha. There's so many jokes about it never getting into beta, never getting my grandkids maybe able to play the full game. But I think if this update is a flop, then that's it for Daisy. So many players are going to quit. They're not going to give it a chance. They're just say fuck it. The, the series is over. I mean, at the moment, it's already hard to believe. I mean, I know the the devs are working hard on it, but you kind of feel like. It's never going to come out. I mean, 3 million sales, I think, is at now, and at 10 full-time employees are working on the game. That is a bit ridiculous. So hopefully, if this update is great, it could be game-changing. It could bring so many YouTubers back. Like I said, Frankie could come back. If Frankie comes back, that's it. The game's blown up again. I mean, there's so much more content, too, because there's so much more to do, too, in this update. I mean, if, if they do decide to open up the Tissy military base... Which again, if you haven't saw, it was in Silo's video. I'll probably put in a screenshot. But what that is is it's it's a um, it's a military base that's infected that you need a hazmat suit to go in. I'm not sure if they're implementing the hazmat suit, but a new military base would be ridiculously cool. I think there's loads of new guns to try. So especially with the rendering system, it's going to feel like a whole new game if it's if it's great. But then there's also the downsides. If it is a flop, if the rendering system is a load of shit. If it only improves by like 10 frames. If the new UI is dreadful that they're adding. Then if the zombies hitbox. I think they're redoing the zombies hitbox. But if that is ruined. Then that's going to ruin the game for a lot of people. And again they just scrap the game. They say no we don't believe in the company anymore. We don't want to wait around. And that kills me to hear that come out of my mouth. Because I love Daisy. I could play it for hours and hours and hours. But if the, I just see this, the community slowly go. It's gonna. It, it's quite crippling to see. But to be honest. I may I may stop playing Daisy if it's such a bad update. I might just fully switch over to armor. So overall I'm just really excited for this update. I, I'm a bit disappointed that it's taken so long. I think it was promised at the end of February. And what is it now? It's coming up to two... <laughs> It's coming up to almost two months after the end of February, and it's still not out. But on the other side of things, I don't want a broken update. I I would prefer it taking longer and longer and longer and to come out perfect. And I think that's what they're trying to do. They don't want, they don't want to give us a shitty update that we're just going to hate, and it's going to ruin the game for most of the community. And one thing I just want to ask you guys is, what do you think about all of this? Do you think that it'll get you, if you play Daisy? do you think it'll get you back into Daisy? Or if you've never played Daisy? do you think you would buy it? Because a lot of people have asked me about buying Daisy, and I've just said, listen, the frame rate will kill you. Like, if you're not used to low frame rates, then you may not like it. So I just want to know, like, and what do you think, how do you think it impact the community? Anyway, thanks for watching, and good damn, I want 0 0.60.